This video is going to focus on how to make a biological drawing scale and how to understand the size of a cell from that drawing, uh, not on labeling the cell itself. So here we have some onion cells under a microscope, and these cells were viewed under a 40 times objective lens, which means the total magnification with the ocular included was 400 times. And we know for the microscopes that we used that the field of view, so that is the distance or the diameter across this way, the field of view is 0 0.45 millimeters. And if we want to express that in micrometers, which we do, we can do that down here. Our field of view is 450 micrometers. All right, so I'm just going to erase this. Uh, so now we're going to pick a cell to draw. And I'm going to pick this one in the middle. Uh, it's a good little shape. It's in the middle, so it'll be easy to estimate our fit number, which we'll get to next. So we want to draw our biological drawing to take up most of our page, um, at least half, if not two thirds. And when we do our biological drawing, we don't want to do any shading. We want to try to do all connected lines. And we have a little nucleus here and to show that that is darker than the rest of the cell, we're just going to do some stippling in there. So we're not gonna worry about labeling at all. We're just gonna have our bare bones drawing here. What we wanna do now is estimate the fit number. And that's gonna be how many times the cell that we've drawn will fit across our field of view in its longest dimension. So if we were to stack this cell end to end, how many times would it fit? And you can and you would ideally measure this, um, but uh, we don't have a ruler on this app, so we're gonna just estimate. So it looks like here we have one, two, three, four complete cells, probably five with the end bits there. So we're gonna say for this drawing that our, or for this cell that we've picked, that our fit number is five. Our cell will fit across that field of view five times. And now we're going to look at why that matters in terms of calculating the size of our cell, as well as why that matters in terms of calculating the size of our drawing. So we're going to start with cell size. So we want to know how big that cell actually is. And we don't need our drawing for that, because all we really care about is our field of view over our fit number. So our field of view is 450 micrometers and our fit number is five. So when we do that in our calculator, 450 divided by five, we get a cell size of 90 micrometers. So that means that this cell in this dimension is 90 micrometers long. So now that we know that, we're gonna be able to figure out how big our drawing is compared to the actual size of the cell in reality, not the size of the cell in this microscope image, but the size of the cell as it exists in the onion itself. Okay, so we know that our uh, cell size is 90 micrometers. And now we want to see how big did we make our drawing here compared to the actual size of the cell. And for this, we need a ruler because we're going to actually measure our drawing. So we're going to take our ruler and we're going to place it over our cell in the same dimension as what we measured the fit number. And we see that our drawing is exactly five centimeters. Now we see these are different units, so we obviously want to convert five centimeters into micrometers. We can do some unit conversion for that, so five centimeters. And in one centimeter, there are 10,000 micrometers. And we know this number 
because there are 10 millimeters per centimeter and 1,000 micrometers per millimeter. So we multiply those two conversion factors together, we get to 10,000. And we see that our centimeters here are going to cancel. So we have 5 times 10,000, that equals, or sorry, yeah, 5 times 10,000, that equals 50,000 micrometers. That's how big our drawing is. So now we can do the scale of our drawing. That's going to be 50,000 micrometers, how big our drawing is, over 90 micrometers, how big the cell is. And we find that we've made our drawing 556 times bigger, and we're going to round that up to 600 times bigger. So our drawing is 600 times bigger than the actual cell. Now, we want to make a scale bar here. So along our ruler, we're going to draw ourselves a one centimeter line. Just move the ruler out of the way there. So our scale bar is going to be smaller than our drawing. And we want to figure out how big or what, what number to put above our scale bar here to indicate to anyone looking at the drawing how big that drawing or how big that cell is. So what we're going to do is we're going to say our scale bar is one centimeter and our drawing is five centimeters in total. And we're going to just put X for micrometers. So how many micrometers does our scale bar represent when our cell in total is 90 micrometers? So here we have our scale bar length. Here we have our drawing size. This is going to be the number we put above the scale bar, and this is the actual cell size. And so we can rearrange x is going to equal 1 times 90 over 5, and our units are going to be micrometers um, because our centimeters here will cancel. And so 90 divided by 5 is 18. So this scale bar represents 18 micrometers. And so if we were looking at this drawing done, we could measure our scale bar and see, okay, that's one. And then we could see that this is five in total. And we could realize that this entire cell then must be 90. So it gives us the cell size without directly having to spell that out. And then we can say, that this drawing is a 600 times drawing 